Guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And today, I'm gonna to be zip lining down that thing. Fremont Street, downtown Las Vegas. Now, when most people think of Las Vegas, they think of all the fancy casinos on the Strip. What they don't realize is that the real Las Vegas is actually here. And it starts here on Fremont Street. Now, Fremont Street is home to the original Las Vegas casinos. And when you walk down Fremont Street, you'll find that it's pretty much a little bit of a nostalgia trip. The casinos are very, very retro compared to the ones on the Strip. And that can actually be a good thing. But the one other thing that you could do here in Fremont Street is zip line down it. This is the Slotzilla Fremont Street zip line. You can literally pay a bit of money and zip line all the way down Fremont Street. Now, this attraction is open pretty much during the day and pretty much all night. Now guys, I actually did this last night. I'll show you the footage of it shortly, but let me tell you something. You absolutely have to add this to your bucket list. Now, word of warning guys, buy your tickets in advance, otherwise you'll be stuck in a queue just like this. But once you've finished queuing and got your ticket, you get harnessed up, you climb a hell of a lot of stairs, and then they strap you to your zip line. Now admittedly guys, I tried to put a GoPro on, but they found out and unfortunately, you're not allowed to take your own GoPros on. So you're gonna have to make do with all of this footage that I've recorded of other people doing it. Nevertheless, take a look at what you can do. You get to zip down Fremont Street with the lights, the music, the people below you, and oh my god, I'm not kidding, you have to do this. But zip lining isn't all that's available here on Fremont Street. At night, this place really does come alive. Music concerts are pretty much held everywhere on Fremont Street. It's a good show, it's a free show. Is relatively inexpensive and let's not forget the casinos themselves they light up like Christmas trees but the Fremont Street experience also includes the light show the whole place is illuminated with a giant LED board that stretches along the entire street and you can watch it it's a pretty good show now these two guys had a pretty novel way of watching the light show by lying down in the middle of the street and rather than recording them, I decided to join them. I think this guy's name was Mark. He was pretty cool. Stone drunk, but pretty cool nevertheless. In Vegas, you'll find your typical Vegas showgirls. Your typical Playboy bunny girls. And girls with a rather questionable dress sense. This guy wants you to kick him in the nuts. Something for everyone, I guess. But overall, everything that's cool about Vegas you'll find here in downtown Las Vegas on Fremont Street. Okay, Nin, I want to add this to my bucket list. What do I do? Well, firstly, you need to come here to Fremont Street, which is in downtown Las Vegas. It's not on the strip, and you might have to either get a car or get the Deuce bus, which is what I did, up here into downtown. The cost of the attraction, well, it all depends on which way you want to do it. You can either do it sitting down, which will cost you about $25, or you can do it Superman style, and it actually lasts a little bit longer. You get a longer distance, but that's $45. If you want a video clip of this, this will also run you about $45. So if you do want it recorded, 
either pay the money or get somebody to record it for you from ground level. But guys, I hope you've seen roughly what it's like to zip line down Fremont Street at night, and I highly recommend that you add this to your bucket list if you do come here to Las Vegas. If you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below, and if you want to tweet at me, that's my Twitter handle. Please give me some tweets, give me some ideas for other bucket list ideas, you know. If I do decide to do them, if I get enough suggestions, then yeah, sure, why not? I'll do it. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, 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 I'm Skinny Albert. How come they never talked about Skinny Albert and they always talked about Fat Albert? I know why, because he was selling diabetes. <laughs>